this video I want to share with you my favorite modern watercolor um, botanical books and this video has been requested by Irid and I thought it's such a great idea because all of us can you know contribute from it and maybe find some books that um, you haven't heard of yet and yeah we, we all love flowers and uh, you know it's uh, such a beautiful time now uh, <laughs> and um, yeah so why not enjoy some flower painting so right I have grouped uh, quite a few books into four four groups and um, I'll break it down so it's a bit easier I'll start with the very sort of um, I guess the the, the exact uh, book that fits the brief which is this one um, and sort of uh, modern botanicals then um, I will dive into modern watercolor books which have uh, which don't just have botanicals in them but they do have a fair bit of botanicals and I think they are fantastic books really happy to have these so these are all of the books that I'm showing you today I would highly recommend and I think they are um, very useful and they um, have uh, an abundance of content so um, so that would be the second group the third group will be more traditional uh, watercolor books and they're just too beautiful for me not to put them into this video but they're they're very very much this classical understanding of uh, botanical is illustration which is obviously very different to modern modern is um, much faster than the traditional but I thought um, they definitely have a place in this video. And then finally for the fourth uh, group, I have put a couple of books which are just too stunning. They are the most um, stunning two books, just two books, but they're the most stunning uh, botanical books in terms of photography and content. They are just mesmerizingly beautiful and it's a great source for photography for pictures if you want to be inspired actually I just forgot there should be another one I should include in there okay so let's start with the first one modern watercolor botanicals I will leave all the links down below also there should be all book reviews for the books that I'm showing you today and um, I'll try to link them all down below as well. This book is by Sarah Simon and I have to say if you ask me straight up what is your favorite um, book on modern botanicals this is it. It just um, to me it's I can't really put it into words because I feel there is um, I feel like I have a connection to this book. I feel like I have connection to the artist through the book and the information that was put into this book is just amazing. I mean, look at this thickness of the book and it's a huge amount of things in there. It's beautifully put together. And um, yeah, if you love modern botanicals, great book so this one was published in 2019 um, she goes by as mint gardener so if you want to check her instagram she has a really beautiful instagram loads of videos there as well and contents um, i am not actually i don't want it to be too long because i've done all the uh, reviews uh, for these books. So if you want to see the contents of each separate book, I highly advise that you go um, and see those book reviews because otherwise it will take me forever to do this video. But as you can see, it's filled with information and I'll just, if you want to pause and read, I'll show it to you like that. But I will just summarize these books and um, yeah. So she uses watercolor, she uses a few other things but predominantly watercolor and then she teaches you how to create the uh, paint palette, the color recipes, um, what you what colors you need to create those um, colors to mix them and it's um, an amazing book in, sen in the sense of how much information it has. There is just 
I don't know how long it took them to, to do this book. It probably would have taken me a year to create this much content um, and do all the writing and, and it's just amazing. Um, so yeah, you can see loads to read, loads to look at. Very, very highly uh, recommendable book. And um, loads of lessons. You really feel like you're taking a course and not paying a ton of mo um, a ton of money because online courses can be quite expensive um, but this you can do um, on your desk and you know in your own time and pick out what you like so that's that let's look at the next book so the next book is really just to be inspired I find that there is a mix of traditional and also modern. Um, although it says here beautiful botanical art, contemporary artists, modern materials. So yeah, it's it's more of a modern, but there are a few traditional ones as well. So this book is called Just Draw Botanicals by Helen Birch. And uh, this book was published in 2020. It's a very new book. And I'll give you an overview of the contents. There is nothing here to teach you. Um, this is not a tutorial book or step-by-step -step book. This is more to be inspired by a huge number of different artists. And all of these artists have their different styles. So if you are into that, great source for inspiration. Again, this is the layout, so a little bit of writing on that side just to explain what makes the artist different from others. And the art is always on the right side. So this is Julia Tricky. So a few of the traditional um, botanical artists. And then, you know, things like that, which is very modern. And you just get introduced to a lot of artists that you haven't heard of before, perhaps. Um, so that's that. Great little book to take with you when you're traveling as well. Next book I do want to mention because I think it's a beautiful book. And it's great um, for those who want to try more of the traditional botanical art. Um, but... It is simplified a little bit, so I would say it's more of a modern way of doing botanicals, but with the traditional twist. So it's not as complicated or unachievable in some cases as the traditional uh, botanical art, but um, it doesn't have that crisp uh, modern botanical feel to it, but I still wanted to mention it. So this book is called Botanical Sketchbook, a guide and inspiration for any botanical artist. It's by Mary Ann Scott with Margaret Stevens. And let's dive into it. So as you can see on the cover, it's kind of, it has a casual, casual feel about it and it has really that sketchbook feel to it, but the illustrations are beautiful and they're gorgeous to look at and great for inspiration as well. Also quite useful to look at how the colors are mixed. So it doesn't have that um, serious feel to it, you know, how usually um, the botanical art can be quite complicated really. So here you, you have a lot of um, suggestions on, on how to mix the different greens which is very useful. If you are interested in foliage, there's an abundance of foliage and all sorts of different things, which I quite like. Um, so you can see it's, it's sort of easy-ish. So I would say it's not basic, but it's not too complicated. And there's loads of lovely little notes you can read on. So yeah, it's as if you're looking at the sketchbook of the artist, which I think it's quite inspiring and very very helpful so again check out the um, book review for that as well so loads of flowers some veggies uh, here's some garlic so loads and loads of different things you can find here look at this beautiful this is from hydrangea you can give it a go you can mix all the colors as they are shared and um, so that's that. 
beautiful. Okay, now I want to dive into modern um, watercolor artists and I picked three books which I would highly recommend and they have um, botanicals in them as well but also other things if you're interested. So the first one is Creative Watercolor, a step-by-step -step guide for beginners and it's by Anna Victoria Calderon. Now I want to say, it, although it says for beginners, it is a really good book for those who already are a little bit of a seasoned artist um, and yeah I think you would really enjoy it so let's dive into this so you have things like bugs you have things like butterflies and you know little creatures and and stuff like that um, some ideas on um, gold glitter embossing and all of that for card making uh, but there is a large part on florals and these florals are very unique to the artist i love how she creates them uh, i believe she she's based in mexico and so her colors are very bright and vivid so if you like that in botanicals you do get that um, in her art And then also here a little layering play, some watercolor techniques which are quite fun, um, some color blending and mixing. So it's definitely concentrating on watercolors and a few other mediums to go with the watercolor. And yeah, so that's her style beautifully bright and gorgeous. Next book I would recommend is called If You Are Bored With Watercolor, read this book and it's by Veronica Ballard Lilia and it is really fun this book. I bought it a while ago um, and I it, it really helped to get me inspired using other things. This is when I was just starting to kind of dip my toes into um, this is was it published 2017 I think yeah just dipping my toes into mixed media and things to do with watercolor other than just using watercolor so let's have a look so there is a number of different things so this is a great book if you really want to explore watercolors and do different things uh, from collages to uh, mixing it with other mediums it has a bit of everything you can see here some crayons, the Neo Color 2, which we all love so much, um, Caran d'Ache pencils, water soluble pencils, etc. So, yeah, loads of different things. And let's have a look. So, you get some of. Um, so, she has different things. So, you could get an um, illustration of pretty much everything in here. So this is a radish obviously, then we have some watercolor which she is demonstrating how you can use the oil pastels with watercolor. So she used watercolors to create the girl here and then just adding uh, these oil pastels for a different texture effect. And same thing here which I think this is so super inspiring to be using um, you know different mediums and it definitely has a modern feel to it you can do even things like embroidery here textures I did a few illustrations from this book including this pineapple so here's some masking tape and things there is a little bit on the uh, botanical side so different styles again and that's it and uh, quite a little bit on fashion as well I wouldn't say too much but if you like fashion illustrations it does have a little bit on there um, as well so here I did this bird illustration for my son's room which is hanging in a frame and yeah so great little book to have final book in this group is called Everyday Watercolor. Learn to paint watercolor 
in 30 days. This is by Jenna Reina, um, Reine, sorry, and it's uh, this book is pretty much known in the art community uh, for modern watercolors. It's great for beginners. It's uh, not too complicated. As you can see, it has a modern feel to it. Uh, I'm just trying to remind myself how much there is on flowers and things. So here is an example here. So basically there will be 30 illustrations, but they explore different um, techniques and ways of doing things. And it's sort of a little bit scattered throughout, but you do get like foliage and things and also how to mix the colors. Um, so that's that. And then let's have a look inside. Her florals are quite pretty. They're, they have a bit of a loose but modern feel to it. So these are the contents. And... So there's the landscape. Trying to find anything specific on flowers. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be like there's a, any separate um, chapter on flowers, but there is uh, flowers and foliage throughout the book, so you can get inspired by that. 